Hi, I'm Joe James, and in this video we're going to learn how to split a string in Java at a particular character, so a space or hyphen or period or whatever you like. And I'll, as usual, I'll post all the code on my GitHub site, which I post a link down below. You're free to download that code and run it and try it out. I hope this helps you learn some new tricks in Java. So let's take a look at the code. Now we're going to use some methods from the arrays class, so we need this import of the arrays. And we're also going to use uh, one of the methods we're going to use from the stream class. So Java 8 streams, we're going to have that import as well. We're going to start out with just a string array of four items. These are just four strings, and we'll call this variable array. That's going to be our variable name. We'll start out just a really simple here to print out the array. You may already know how to do this, so I'm sorry, bear with me. Three simple ways to print an array in Java system.out.println, and then you have to convert the array to a string. So we use this arrays.toString, and we pass in the array as an argument. So that's one way to print it. And then another way is using a for loop. We iterate the items of the array, and then we print out each one of them. And I have also a comma and a space between them for readability and a blank print line after the end of that. And then lastly, uh, using a stream, using the stream class, you can um, stream the array. Each, each item of the array, we can stream it, and then we can use a for each with a print line in it. So three different ways to print the items of the array. So let me save this, and then we'll run it and see how the output looks at this point. So we get our printout in three different formats. This is the two-string method. Uh, iterating the items on, on the same line, um, and then using the streams processor. So now let's do the conversion here. So I'm going to show you two ways to convert an array to an array list. So the first one uses is the arrays class as list, passing in the array as an argument. Arrays dot as list, and when we do this, we have to make sure that the output of that is passed into a new uh, array list constructor. Otherwise, we'll get a list back. So if we only have this on the right side of the equal sign without this new array list thing, it's not going to get passed in the array list constructor. It, this basically just returns a list. So you need this whole thing just like that. And that will create a new array list for us and assign it to this variable called ArrayList. And then we're going to use the print ArrayList to print that out. And the second method uses, again, we need a new ArrayList on the right side of the equal sign here, list.of. That's a nice, simple, clean way to do it. List.of, we pass in the array as an argument, and that creates a new ArrayList for us. And then again, we print that out. So now we've got two different ways to convert an array to an array list in Java. So let's um, compile this and run it. So you can see what the output looks like. It only takes a few seconds. OK, so we printed out the array list, the first one and the uh, second one. They both work fine, obviously. And now let's convert back. How do we convert an array list to an array? So uh, here we're going to create a string array called array2. And we're going to use ArrayList.toArray. This is a nice way to convert array list to array. So we have uh, a built-in toArray method in the ArrayList class. And um, we pass in new string array with the size of zero in that. Otherwise, if we don't put this zero in there, um, new arrays, as you know, are created with a default size of, I think, 20 in Java. We don't want that. So we're going to make it size zero, and then we'll scale it to size as needed. So that is it for our conversion back to an array. And then we'll print this out. Uh, and I chose to use the streams method to print it out. Save. We'll compile and run that. And there we go. So we get, um, after our ArrayList1 and ArrayList2 printout, you can see the output here from the streams processor. It prints out our array again. 
So that is it. That wraps up this video for converting between array list and array in Java. And again, it doesn't matter if you are using strings, integers, or whatever item is in the array, it's going to work the same way. If this video is helpful for you, please click the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'm Joe James. Thanks for watching.